The following episode of Dad vs. Daughter was made possible by a contribution from Mayday Games. Hello and welcome to another episode of Dad vs. Daughter. I'm Tim the Dad. I'm Megan the Daughter. And today we are playing Viceroy by Mayday Games. Now this is a game that it tells you to build your pyramid of power. Now the way we are going to build that pyramid of power is by playing character cards and law cards. And it's going to be kind of a, you know when you were a kid you would build pyramids with your blocks. That's the way you're going to do it. You're going to have a series of square cards here. And you're going to place them in front of you so that you are building a pyramid. So... It doesn't really matter what color of the uh, uh, things are there, but what does matter is that you are building on top. You can't build like that because that card would eh, fall off. Okay, so you have to build on top of two cards, and you don't have to build evenly, but you do have to be able to uh, build on top of cards that are already there. When you build or deploy cards, you have to pay a cost. Let's take a closer look at what makes up one of the character cards. So for instance, I'm gonna take this card. This is the Chancellor. Okay, so you'll notice a bunch of things. You've got colors here, colors on the corners. We have, uh, this represents the colored gems. And this is what uh, the cost is that we have to pay in order to deploy this to our pyramid. So as we are building, and you look here, you see that we have different levels. This is the first level, this is the second level, this is the third level. So when we are deploying this card, if we are, say, deploying this to level three, we have to pay a blue, a yellow, and a red gem. And then once this is deployed to our pyramid, we are going to be able to gain the rewards next to that. So in this case, at a level three, we would put a eight uh, victory point marker on this card, and that will be for scoring at the end. If we built this on the first level, then we are going to get a magic scroll to place on there, and that will be worth points at the end as well. This symbol here means that we're going to be able to grab two cards from a small deck or from the law deck. Now, these are the character cards. I'll show you the law cards. Law cards look like this, and we flip those over. You can tell they're kind of laid out the same as the character cards. They've got the, the colors here uh, and on the corners, but they also have text that is going to either fire off whenever we deploy those to our pyramid or they're for end of game scoring um, or maybe some other special effects. Now, what we wanna do when we build our pyramid is, I said that the it doesn't matter what the colors are, what we build on, because we like this one here has basically, this, this circle is made up of four parts. The top part here is two reds. You've got a green and a blue. If, for instance, uh, let's move these around a little bit. Uh, let's go like that. And need to find a yellow here. So if we had a card, our pyramid looked like this, then since we complete a circle all in one color, then what we're gonna be able to do is we're going to gain uh, that color gem and then we're going to be able to use that uh, either to deploy our cards our character cards to the pyramid or we're going to be able to use it to bid on uh, character cards in the auction phase now at the end of the game whatever gems that we have left over they're really not going to do us much good except when we have a situation like this where we have uh, colors in our circle that don't match up so say if this was Megan's pyramid and she had a red gem left, she's going to be able to do what they call paint. And that means that for however many of the uh, corners that you do not have of that color, if you have the gem of that color, you're going to be able to place it there. And then that's going to count for end of game scoring as if this were a completed red circle. Uh, anyway, on this one here, I would have needed two. This very nice game mat does not actually come with the game. Uh, you can buy this separately from Mayday. Uh, but if you have the opportunity, I would suggest getting it. Uh, it's fairly cheap, and it makes uh, the game actually a, a lot nicer. You don't have to have it, but one of the things you're going to do with the auction phase 
is you're going to flip over four cards. And those will go in these bottom spart spots here, sparts, uh, that are called the uh, first chance auction card. So one of the things we're going to do is uh, the start of the round, we are each going to bid uh, whatever card we want for with that gem color. So say if I wanted this red, I would put a red gem in my hand and I put it closed like this. And then we reveal at the same time, since I bid the red, I would get to take this card and that would go into my hand and Megan would take the yellow. Now what we do next is we just slide these up into the second chance auction and then we're going to put four more cards down. Any of the cards that would have been in the second chance, uh, when we move these up, those would be discarded uh, for the rest of the game. The rules say that what you can do is you can basically negotiate with the other players to find out what that they what uh, card that they want. So, Megan, let's show them how we okay. can do that. So I want a green. So I have my green out. And you want... Say, I decide want. I want a green. So before we're even showing the gem that we have, in this case, Megan, okay, which one, which green do you want? I want the bottom green. You want the t bottom or the, or the top? Want you the want bottom. the bottom. And if I say, I want the bottom... Well, too bad, I want it. Well, so <laughs> what we can do is I can say, okay, uh, I'll take the top green or I'll take another color. Now, what we can do then is we, we show our hand and if we both said we wanted this and we could not agree, when we flip these over, then those get discarded. And we move on to another auction because neither one of us have got a card at that point. Now, you also, and this is in the rules, this is where the cutthroat part get, comes in. Yeah. Because I could say, I want the green. Well, I still want green. You still want green. I still want the bottom green. Okay. Um, and I say, well, I want the green. Well, I want green too. Okay. So if you want green, I'll say, okay, well, let's just go ahead and reveal. So we reveal. Megan gets the green card, but mm -hmm. see, I never wanted the green. I wanted the red. So what that could have done was cause her to either pick a different color or we would both forfeit the, uh, the gem of that color. So a little bit of bluffing comes into the game at that point. So I said the, the game does not come with this nice player mat. What it does come with is these markers. So basically, if you didn't want to, to get the mat, you would just lay these out on the table and all of the arrows got to be pointing in the di right direction there. Okay. Um, so let me move the mat there. Move these up. So in our first auction bit, we would be like this. Okay. And then after that auction is complete, then what we do is we have to pick these up. Say if we bought those two cards, we move those up and we put four new cards here. It's not that big of a deal. The, the mat makes it really nice because you can just slide them up. So it makes it a little neater. Uh, the other thing is, is it's got spots here for the different cards. And so you can mark the round. Again, this isn't really a necessary thing because what you're going to do, you're going to set this deck up. You're going to have 48 cards. So when these cards... When you flip these and you can't fill that another time, then that signifies that the next turn is the end of the game. I'll kind of give you a little um, close up of what these look like. So some of the cards are going to allow you to put these bonus tokens on the tile. This is going to give you plus two victory points on the at the end of the game for each of the completed yellow circles that you have. This is going to give you, for instance, three uh, points per magic scroll that you have on your cards uh, in your pyramid and you have to have these in order to score any points for the scrolls if you just have scrolls and you don't have any of these bonus tokens then your scrolls are not going to be worth anything mm -hmm. uh, Megan you want to talk about the player shield yeah okay so each player gets a player shield um, there's one girl four guys the colors don't really matter like the gender so it's just kind of whatever you pick and on the inside, you have a little handy-dandy cheat sheet. So it tells you, you know, the references of what's on the card um, and the different symbols and how they will score at the end of the game. So that's helpful. And then you can also hide your gems behind there so your other opponent can't know. Yeah, and this comes into play because those of you that are familiar with a game called Splendor, yes. you can run out of 
chips in order to buy cards. And the same goes for this game because you could, there are, depending on the number of players, a certain number of gem colors that you're going to start with. So if Megan knows that I need red uh, because of what I'm trying to do, then she could hoard all the red and never spend red to get those jewels back into play for me to take. So that is a very viable strategy when playing the game. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and, and set the game up. And we'll tell you about the setup here in a minute. Uh, but then play through it. And as we do things, we'll explain those. I think you'll get a better idea of what the game is like. Okay, the first thing that we do is we deal each player four of the character cards. So you're going to be able to take those in your hand and figure out which one that you want to be your starting card for your pyramid. So we look these over and uh, let's see. I kind of like kind of like this one. So I'm going to keep this one. So I'm going to put that down and then out of the three that I have remaining, I'm going to decide which one that I want to keep in my hand to start the game. And I'm going to keep this one. Okay. So that's going to go in my hand. The other two are going to be shuffled back into the main deck. 48 of the character cards and we will place this here and that becomes the large deck and it tells you it should be 48 cards and then we take the rest of them and we put them over here and that forms our small deck so when we have cards that allow you to take you can either take one of those cards from the small deck or you'll be able to take a law card now the law card we are going to each start with three of them and then add that with the other one and we will have a starting hand that looks like this. I said that we start with a certain number of gems based on the number of players. We will start with eight of each color of gem. Each of us takes two of each color and then we pick two colors to put back. So basically what you want to do is you're going to look at what your, uh, what your starting card is and what you have in your hand to determine what you want to keep and what you need to put back. So I think I will put back a, let's see, there. And the rule book shows all the coin or all the gems kind of shuffled together so you don't really see how many are left. Um, we always play it like this, so it doesn't really matter to us. So once we have our starting hand, then we flip over our uh, starting card and we look and see what the benefit is. So in my case, because this is my starting and it's going to be on the first level, I am going to get three gems of my choice. And I am as well. So then you look at the oh, number yeah. on the bottom that it's... will tell you which player gets to go first. So that number is right there. What's your number? My number is 13. 23. So you'll be first. So basically I can take whatever three gems that I want. So I think I'll take a blue, a green, and uh, what else? Uh, let's go yellow. Okay. I'm going to take a yellow and a red, and I'll take a blue. Okay, so we're going to flip over our first auction cards here. We're going to look and see which auction cards that we want, and then we are going to bid. Okay. Uh, I want the yellow. I want red. Okay, you can have it. Okay. So Megan gets the red, I get the yellow, those go into our hands. Then what we do is we move these up immediately and we go ahead and we put four new auction cards down. And sometimes we forget that because it's not a normal like mechanic that you would do, like reset the board in the middle of your turn. Okay, so now what we're going to do, since we each got a card in the auction phase, we're going to move on to the deployment phase. So we pick a card in our hand that we want to place. And one of the things I didn't say about the law cards, uh, those you get to play for free. And you'll notice that there is no cost associated. What you're going to do is you'll place that anywhere you want and um, you'll do whatever the text says. But you still go off of what the number is. Mm -hmm. So then you announce what card you're going to, what the number is. Mine's four. 44. Okay. So my pl card gets played first. So I'll play that there. Uh, it's going to cost me a green. And I'm going to be able to put a three victory point counter on that card. Okay. That was the mentor. So what's your card, Megan? The governor. And I'm going to pay a blue. And I get four coins of my choice. 
So I think we're going to just take one of each. And there's it. During the development phase, you actually get to build up to three cards. So that was our first, mm -hmm. and I will build this card here. 37. 43, so you okay. get to go next. So that will get me a yellow, because that is completed. And that's actually a green and a blue with a blue infinity stone. So when you have an infinity stone, uh, or actually an infinity gem, we always yeah. call it infinity stones because... Guardians you know, of the Galaxy. Yeah, and we are Marvel fans. Uh, that comes from the supply. So Megan actually paid her green and her mm -hmm. blue, then she just took her blue back. So anytime that she needs to use a blue for uh, building a development card there, she's going to be able to use that once per turn. Mm -hmm. So she wants to be able to put it someplace where she knows that it's been used. So I my... recommend covering the faces. I just find that easier because then you know if you used it, you move it down or vice versa. Okay. I am going to play the Artificier. And that's going to cost me a blue and a yellow. Whoops. So there's my blue and my yellow. And because it's on the second level, I'm going to actually get a yellow infinity stone. So I'll put that on that guy's face. Okay. So we know. And because I completed a blue circle there, I'm going to get that blue back. All right. I'm going to build again or deploy. Okay. Um, 83 is my number. 77. Okay. So this is army reform. It says choose either to place a sword and the sword token looks like that. So place a sword behind your screen. This means that uh, during the bidding phase, I can bid this instead of an actual gem, and that means I'm automatically gonna get that, unless Megan also bids a sword. If I don't use this at the end of the game, it's for each one of these, uh, Megan is going to get negative four points, unless she has the shield token, and the shield would block each shield would block one of the swords. So I can either put that behind my shield, I can draw one card from the small deck or the law deck, uh, or I can take four gemstones of my choice from the reserve. I think I am gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna take that and put that behind my shield. Okay. So I will place that here. All right, I'm going to play the Alchemy Guild right there. And it says to either place a scroll in the scroll booster on this card, place an infinity gemstone of any color, or take four gems of your choice from the reserve. I think I'm just going to take um, and make it a green infinity stone. So I'm going to put that there. That was three? Yep. So now we move on to the second round, and now we go back to the auction phase. Hmm. Okay. I want green. Blue. All right. Okay, and I want this blue. And I want this green. Okay. So this card, since that was the only one left in the second round, or second uh, chance yeah. auction, that goes away. These three are going to move up, and we will place four new cards. So now it's <clears throat> time to deploy. So are you going to deploy? This? Because you can pass. Yeah. Uh, the other thing is, if you have cards that you don't want, you can actually discard those and get gems. You're going to get two gems if you discard. Uh, same way with the auction. If you do not get a card in the auction, then you actually get to choose three gemstones of your choice. So I am going to build this guy here, or deploy this guy. I'm not going to. Are you going to discard any? No. So you're passing. Yes. Once you pass, you can't build any more during the deployment phase. So I am going to play the Infiltrator, and I'm going to place him right there. And since he's a level two, he is going to cost me a blue and a yellow. I'll pay the blue, and I will use my yellow Infinity Stone to get uh, the rest of his payment. So I will get a shield, and I will get two gems of my choice. So I think I will take a green and... I think I'll also take a yellow. Okay. So since Megan's passed, I can now deploy another card if I want. And I think I'm going to pass as well. So move on to round three. Okay. All right. I want the blue. I want red. You can have the red. Okay. All right. So, so far we're telling the truth. Nobody's snookered anybody yet. Snookered. Snookered. 
educating people on different words. Yeah, okay. I'm on 59. 10. Okay. All right, this is the commander. So it's going to cost me two red and a green. So there's my green and my two red. And I'm going to get a yellow for my troubles because I completed that yellow symbol there. Okay. And I'm going to be able to put a science token on there. Mm -hmm. So what the science token allows you to do is whenever you pass. either pass and you don't get a card from the auction or you discard a card, you're going to get one extra gem. Mm -hmm. Also, if you have a complete set of one science, one sword, and one uh, of the magic uh, scrolls here, then it's you're... a shield, isn't it? Not sword? Yes, I think it is a shield. Yeah. yeah, you're right. It is a shield. And if I forget, I should look at the pad here because it tells me scroll, shield, science. So each set of those that I have, um, I'm going to get 12 points at the end of the game. So, Megan? Okay. Um, I'm playing this one. It's the first mate. And that will cost me a red and a blue. And I'll get a red back because of that. Um, and that allows me to draw a card from either the small deck or the law deck. And I'm choosing the small deck. Okay. Uh, I think I'm <laughs> going to pass. Um, Actually, we got to move these up. We forgot to do that. Oh, yeah. So you did you pass um, or are you building? No, I'm going to deploy. Yeah, I'm going to scoot my pyramid down a little. So I'm going to deploy this one's Pathfinder, and that will cost me a red, and I can get three gems back of my choice. So I think I'm going to take two red and a blue. And so you passed, correct? Yes. Okay, I'm going to deploy again then. Um, the Mage's Guild, which will get me a green for that. Um, so I can either choose to place a plus three magic scroll on this card, draw a card from the small deck or law deck, or take four gems from your choice from the reserve. And you, did you take all the yellows? Um, so I think I'm going to take actually, hmm. I'm going to take another card from the small deck. Okay. And that will be my end of my turn. All right, so we're round four. Mm -hmm. So time to bid. Uh, I want a yellow. I want green. Okay, you can have the green. Yeah. Which yellow do I want? You can right. either get the um, pil you know pilgrim straight out of yeah. Plymouth. <laughs> yes, this guy here. I mean, it looks like he's got a uh, pilgrim hat on. Uh, it uh, looks like that. he's got a leather jacket, you know, and he's holding a bag of gold. So Straight out of Plymouth. Straight out of Plymouth. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I think I will... Uh, Assuming you're taking that one. Yeah. In regards so, yep. to the other card. Yep. Okay. So you move those up. There we go. What I'm going to do during the deployment phase is I'm actually going to discard this law card. Mm. So that goes bye-bye. And because I have the science token, I'm going to get three gems of my choice. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's just take a red, a blue, and a green. Okay. okay so we readjusted things so things would be in frame here. Okay. So go ahead, Megan. Um, I'm going to place defensive measures there. And it allows me to place a shield on that card. Six victory points or two reserve. I think I'm going to take a shield because I know you have that sword. So I'm going to put that there, and then you passed, correct? Yeah, I'm passing. Okay. So, well, you know what? Well, yeah, because you scrapped a card. Yeah, okay. So I'll, you, yeah, I'm going to wait. Yeah. So I'm going to play the Huntress here, and that's a yellow and a green, and that gets me a red Infinity Stone. Nice. Oh, I'm knocking the gems over there. So there's that. And... Hmm... Yeah, I'm going to pass. Okay. So we are on to round five. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. I want green. Yellow. Right. Okay. And we're still telling the truth. It's always a good thing when you tell the truth. Well, you it's know. It's not good to lie. It's good to have a policy of truth. 
policy. Okay. The Depeche Mode. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know that song. Yeah, you do. I do. It's a policy yeah. of truth. I don't know. I'm 14. 14? Um, I'm going 45. Okay, so I get to put that there. Hopefully you can see that. Um, That's going to cost me a red, and I will get a magic scroll. Okay, I am going to play the sergeant. Uh, doesn't that guy look like something out of Lord of the Rings? Yeah, he looks like um Feely. Feely? Mm-hmm. So Mr. McFeely. The lesser of the hotter twins. <laughs> hotter twins. That's going to cost me a red <laughs> gem. But that's gonna get me three gems of my choice. So I think I will take um uh, let's see what I want. Uh, oh I actually shouldn't have paid yeah. with that red because I have infinity stone. Oops. So, Oopsie. So let's see, let's that take lost red me. and green. Oops. Green. So there's my three. All right. Uh, you going to deploy anything else? Yes, number five. Well, that beats me. Okay. So, so I'm going to put mine there, and I will get that red back that I probably shouldn't have lost. And there's two yellow, and that gets me a card. Um, I'm going to take another one from the small deck. Okay. I'm going to play the uh, Pilgrim Pimp, the <laughs> Recruiter. And that is going to cost me a green and a blue. So I will place those back in reserve and because I completed a red I will get the get a red gem back uh, and that will get me another sword and it will get me two stones of my choice so I'm gonna take a blue let's go blue and a green and it's also going to give me two victory points so okay. I'll put the two right on there I'm going to pass you are passing huh? yes uh, I think I'll pass too. Okay. So move to round six. We've got the auction again. Oh, green. Red. You can have red. Okay. Which red do you want? Top one. All right. Take that. That goes away. These move up. Thor. Kind of, yeah. And Thor's daddy. When he still oh, had his eye. Um, number 17. 17? Uh, mine is um, 6. Okay. So mine will go here and move these over a little bit. Wreck my pyramid of power. Mm -hmm. So that will cost me a blue and I will get a magic scroll. Okay. Um, I'm going to put mine there. And that's going to cost me a blue, a green, and another blue. And I'm essentially going to get that blue back here. And I get a shield and four gemstones of my choice. Can you get a shield? Oh, we don't have more yeah. shields? Oh, okay. Not Sorry. Out. Um, take a red, a green, and two yellows. That's my favorite. Here's your shield, my lady. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh, it goes on. The oh. Okay. So, are we ready? To, are you gonna deploy anymore? Um. I'm gonna deploy this. Yeah. 85. 22. Alright. Yeah, okay. So, I'm gonna put that there. And that's going to cost me a blue, a green, and a yellow. So, green and yellow. And I get a plus two for each red that I complete. So I'm going to put that there. Okay. I'm going to place this law card, which is Inheritance of Property. And what this is going to allow me to do is, as at the end of the game, gain two victory points for each adjacent character. Up to six cards can be adjacent to a single card. That's a pretty good card. Yeah, I like that one. Mm -hmm. Actually, you usually get yeah. that one. So, um, yeah. I'm out of cards, so okay. I can't deploy anymore. I'm going to deploy that one. And that's going to cost oh, you me... Got, which one is that? That's, that's the Baron. He kind of looks like Thor, too. 
the asses red, red, and another yellow, and that's gonna get me a plus three magic. Uh oh. Oh, three. There we go. That side. <laughs> okay. Out of cards. So we're out of cards, so we move on to uh, round seven. All right. Okay. What do you want? What do you want? Uh, I want green. I want green too. Okay. I want red. I want red too. Okay. Reveal. So neither one of us <laughs> bought anything. So what we are going to do now is the player who has the lowest number card in their pyramid actually gets to break this tie. Uh, I have, let's see. Five, I think. There's a six. I thought I had a low one. I have five. You have five? Yeah. Looks like six is my lowest. And how many do we have? Oh, wait get? a minute. I got four. Okay. I got four. So you I will get... I actually get four because I have a science token. Yes, yeah, so I'll just get three. So you get three. But you're so first. I will take, uh, let's see, let's take a couple of blues, green, and I think, you know what, I'll take another, I'll take another blue. Okay. Oops, I took two blues. Um, I'm going to take. So these are all going to go off. Um, okay, that changes what I'm going to get. <laughs> Do you have any cards you're going to nope, play? Neither I don't do have I. Any so, cards. yeah, that was a fast round. Going to, to eight now. Um, hey, we've got uh, Carmen San Diego there. Oh, we do. And a green arrow. And a green, and a green arrow, yes. He doesn't look like the real one. I've met the real one. You have met Stephen Amell. Got a hug from him. He's very nice. Okay, and I don't want. I don't. I do. I know, your hand's empty. Uh, no, it's not. There is something in it, see? You can rattle it, feel it. Oh, there is something in there. Yeah, that's so I'm not, yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, man. This game can be a little AP prone. Oh, blue. Mm, red. You can have it. Okay. Hey, you're still telling the truth. Yes. So, 18. Um, I only have one card, so. 35. Okay. So, Oliver's going to go there. And he's going to cost me a red, blue, and a green. Nice. And then I get just don't have a eight things. point, eight victory point token on him. Okay. Out of cards. Okay. <laughs> I will play my guard. Oh, you get a blue. And uh, it will cost me a green, a blue, and a yellow. So here's my green and my blue. And I yellow. have a yellow infinity. So and you get a blue back. And I do get a blue back. And that's going to give me a plus two red. Okay. So I took the other one. Let's see. All right. So I'll put that up there. Out of cards. Out of cards. So oh, yeah, we forgot to move those up. Yep. So we were beyond round nine. And again, th this is very common to forget to flip yeah. these. So, like I said, when you run out of cards, you're going to know that you're at the end anyway. Okay. So bidding time. So that's what I will build. Or bid. Okay. I want blue. Yellow. You can have it. Okay. This one. Okay. Um. What's up? Yeah. I'm gonna do that. Okay. Sixty-two. Fifty-six. Okay. So I'm gonna build or deploy the warlock there and that will cost me a red a blue and a yellow so there's my red my blue and I'll use my yellow infinity stone that I didn't reset I know so I'm just gonna uh, reset over yeah, I need to reset my red. there so we go there's my cost and that's gonna get me a plus three uh, scroll so okay. I'll place that there um, I'm gonna place this one up here you're on level four. Yeah. Now, the highest you can ever go is level five. And if you go to level five, then what you do is you pay all these costs. And I think, uh, I'm trying to remember. We've never we gotten that far. Well, we have once when we first mm -hmm. started playing. Um, I'll have to look that up. Okay. Anyway, that cost me a green, a blue, and a red, and another blue. So I get eight coins or eight gems. 
I'm just gonna take two wow. of each so I'm covered. That way I know I am protected. Okay, just for clarification, I did look at the rules again. And when you play a character card on the fifth level, basically you're going to pay all of the cost plus the uh, the fourth one again. So in Megan's case, she played on the fourth level, but if mm -hmm. she plays, if she were to play that card on the fifth level, she would have paid it one red, one green, and three blue. So now we know. That's why I always keep the rule book handy. Yep. Because we've played this game quite a bit, but this is the first time uh, we're actually starting to think about the fifth mm -hmm. level again, which probably means that we're not playing the game right. Because <laughs> you want to try to get as high as you can. Because the scoring is going to matter. The higher up certain cards are, the more, uh, as far as yeah. your completed circles, that's going to get you more points. Out of cards. All right. So we move on to level or round 10. And back to the auction phase. I know what I'm going to bid. Uh, you got a ton of gems, too. Mm -hmm. You can pretty much do whatever you want. Kind of, yeah. I'm really kind of hurting. I don't have that many gems, though. If you're hurting, there's opportunities for you to get gems. You don't have skill. You don't got game. Well, I have not yet beat you at this game, so mm -hmm. there is definitely a flaw in my strategy when it comes <laughs> to this game. Um, I'm just going to go here. I want, I want the yellow. I want yellow. I want the bottom yellow. There's only one yellow. And unfortunately, you have enough. You could keep knocking me out. Okay. Uh, so you want yellow. I want yellow. I still want yellow. All right. You still want yellow? Mm hmm. I play my sword. I'm getting I have a yellow. shield. Can I deflect that? No. Aww. Your shield goes behind your uh, screen. No, it's supposed to put it on the card. Your shield? Yeah. Place a def defense token on the card. Oh, we've always put it behind the shield. Well, you're not supposed to. So now, since you did not get a card in that first auction, you can bid for something else. Okay. I, want I don't get to bid, I so. Know. I'm going to take blue. Okay. So let's go up. These. Um, 51. Well, I think... You only have one card. What's your number? I can't build it. <laughs> well, that's Oops. a problem. So I, I wanted it. I am can't passing. build it. That's bad. Okay, so there's that. Um, so that's a red, a red, a blue, and a green, and I get eight gems. Yeah, you're killing me. I don't think I'm going to win this game again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So you passed my cards. Round eleven. All right. Back to bidding. Um, I'll okay. go for the yellow. Yellow. Seriously? Yes. I'll go green. Okay, go green. All right. Oh, top green. I, I think. No, I'll go <laughs> green. You think? Okay, um, number 30. Mine's 38. Okay. So there's that. That's a red, a blue, and a green, and another yellow. And that's going to give me 12 victory points. All right, I'm going to play the druid. Here, and that's going to cost me a yellow, which I have an infinity stone for. And that will give me a card, so I'll take a character card. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take one off of the small deck. Okay. Hey, Elsa's Castle. Yeah. The artwork on the cards is really kind of cool. Mm -hmm. I'm going to discard this card, and that will get me three gems. So... Let's go with a green, a blue. Let's go with another blue. Okay. So you're done? Mm-hmm. Okay, so we're on the final round. And I am so toast. <laughs> wow, you've got a lot of 
Okay. I want the yellow. I want red. You can have it. Okay. Hey, we went through an entire game and nobody lied. Well, we kind of bluffed, but we didn't have any um, thing in our hands when we well, did that. Yeah, yeah, but that wasn't really a good one. Um, 40. Uh, mine is 47. Okay. So there is that. So how do we purchase the so, fifth one? So this is going to cost you basically three blue, a red, and a yellow. Red, another yellow, and a blue. Okay. And that's going to give me a plus four multiplier on the blue. Yeah. All right. My car, I'm going to put here, the Brewer. And that's going to cost me a yellow, which I have an infinity stone for, and a red. And that will give me a shield. And it will also get me um, two gems of my choice. Okay. Which, so now I'm looking to see what I'm going to paint. Since this is. I know, that's actually, what I was looking at. Actually, I'm actually be because painting. I want to I build this guy. So that, that, and that. That's okay. So okay. I will take a yellow. Let's see, don't we? Let's take a yellow and um, blue, I guess. Okay. So, do you have any others you're going to deploy? I don't have any more cards. Okay. So, I will deploy my poisoner. Oh, lovely. And he is going to go here. And that will cost me a yellow, a green, and a blue. And that will give me a shield. Let's see, where's the shield? What, I get my green, pay? I get my green back. Okay. Yeah. So there's one. And two. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't. It's not gonna matter. Okay. Not gonna matter. So I'll take those. So that's it. So that is it. So now what we do is we are going to paint with our leftover gems. So I'm gonna paint there and there. I got the wrong colors. I don't think it really gonna, is going to matter because. I think I'm going to beat you. Yeah. So <laughs> let's tally up the score and see how bad Dad lost. I feel sorry for you. That was just sad. I feel bad for me because I think I played a bad game, and I'm that sure that our viewers bad. are going to say, "Yeah, Dad, you really had your head up your keister." <laughs> um, yeah, I've, you know, I I made some bad choices. We broke our personal best score though this game. Each yeah, I don't know how I did that. That was good though. I um, mean, I don't know how I beat. I mean, you had sixty. I had sixty. And I had eighty-nine. Yeah, so, so basically a thirty-point swing. That only beat my high score, I think, by five points. That's um, still. Which, it's an improvement. Which is pretty pathetic. But the last game that we played, I think you had 55 and I had 54, which yes. is the closest I've been. Now this is like the widest margin of victory yeah. that you've had. Um, so let's get to our review. First off, uh, I like the game. It is, it's a very simple game. Uh, it may seem a little complicated because of all the stuff that's on the cards, but really it's not, especially after you get your first game under your belt. Uh, I think it plays easy. We've showed that it plays fast. Now, I've not played this with more than just two of us, so I'm not really sure how the, uh, the three or the four player experience is. Uh, those of you that have played it uh, in that situation, please leave comments below so everybody else kind of has a feel. But uh, I like the artwork on the cards. Um, the mechanics are really kind of cool being able to, to paint uh, at the end of the game so you kind of want to you know make sure you have the right kind of jewels the strategy in this like i said uh, comparing it to splendor and being able to keep certain colors away from people mm -hmm. uh, that's a big thing the bluffing on the the auction part i think is, is really kind of cool uh, having the second chance 
auction. You know. Yeah. So if I want to look ahead a little bit, you know that that's another thing. Which you normally don't, though. That's normally me. I feel like you normally always say you never think ahead of strategizing. Well, I try to, but I think clearly you are better. Yes. <laughs> um, I, I kind of feel like Obi Wan. I've taught you well. Yeah. You know, but uh, you've gone to the dark side because you kicked Whoa, your dad's butt. Okay. Um, but no, I, I mean, cookies though, so you know. Clearly, you are better at this game than me. Yeah, um, I enjoy the game. I like all the artwork. Um, it's like you know, it's different for each character card. I think that's really cool. Um, Do you have a favorite card? I don't know if I have a, like a favorite card. I like the emissary you, card. Is, yeah, you really that like that one. Was a good one. Let's uh, let's get a close up of that card there. Yeah. Because I think it has Elsa's castle in the background. It does, it does kind of look like Elsa's castle. So, you know, and yeah. just like all the rest of the games, we make up, you know... Little things for them. Um, yeah, where is... Oh, I guess we, we got rid of uh, Oliver Queen, the green no, I have him. Do you? I have him, yeah. I have him. Where's the prince? I always joke about the prince. Is he purple? No, he's not purple. I can't find him, but I don't know. He must be in here because I haven't seen him come up. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, so I think he's got like some Anakin-ish, like, you know, ponytails, and he has like a Captain Hook mustache, and you know, yeah. it's just a weird combination. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, the artwork on the cards is really cool. Like I said, it's all unique. Mm -hmm. The components are really good. Yeah. I mean, these are really thick uh, cardboard. cardboard, and they're very sturdy. And the card some of them, nice. you know, they're double sided. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like here's the scroll, and here is the uh, the science. science. Same with the the shields and the, sword. and the swords. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything's good. I don't have a bad thing about this game to say. Like I said, the the mat I like, mm -hmm. um, and I would advise people to get it. it it's just I think it just kind of adds that. It's not needed, no. uh, but it's just kind of cool, and I like the way that you, you can just slide the cards up easily enough. Yep. So I think that'll about wrap it up. Yeah. So this is from Mayday Games. Uh, it, it's a really good game. It's a good, I'd say, entry-level game. Yes. Or, or maybe just a little bit above. Mm -hmm. But everybody really should be able to play this fairly easily. There is a lot of strategy that comes into play. Like I said, it can be AP-prone. But um, I, I think you'll enjoy it. So we will see you guys next time. Bye. Like and follow us on Facebook to stay current on our show schedule, sneak peeks at future shows, and to interact with us. All right, and just like a Marvel movie, here's our post credit scene. Just wanted to show that this game has been Gerberized. We have all of the gem tokens in one. We have all of the specialty tokens, all the victory point tokens, and all the bonus tokens in one. So go get your Gerber on.